so Bob, uh, we're looking at the interior of the car and this is just friggin' amazing. When we talk about like a rocket ship, this looks like we're just about ready to take off and fly into the air like some of these planes that we're watching uh, here at the show. So Tay, tell me a little bit about this, this baby. Yeah, the interior here, what, what, the first unique thing is, again, when these cars were made, the only two options on the car was two-tone leather interior, which this car has, the, the, the blood red and the, and the off-white and air conditioning. So this car has actually the two, the two most luxurious options that you could, you could get with the car. But it's very space agey looking. I mean, here's what I was talking about, the European dash cluster. I mean, this is all finished in leather and it houses, you know, your oil temperature, your amps, your speedometer, uh, electric clock, uh, an RPM gauge, um, you know, simple, simple AM, FM radio. Uh, the light switch is over here, very, you know, very minimalistic. Then you have down here these cool airplane controls. And these are, these control the air conditioning, it controls the, uh, the blowers, the heat, all of the, uh, you know, all of the anemones, I guess, of the car are controlled by here. And it's got that, you know, really futuristic looking like airplane, you know, airplane controls. So, so to me, I love the interior because it's very, it's very simple. There's not an awful lot of gadgetry. The dash is wrapped in leather, um, and pretty much everything but the headliner is leather in this car. Although Elvis Presley's Mark II, which was white, it was custom ordered with a leather headliner. So that is the only one that has a leather headliner. The rest have this, this, this cloth. This is the original headliner from the car, so it's you know it's 60 years old. And it's, Events here are in the the roof vents, these roof vents are for the, uh, for the AC unit. That's how you control the air conditioning. Again, there's four vents because it's only a four passenger compartment. But everything, all this trim here, this trim around this, this is all leather. There's no, this is not painted metal. You know, we, we talk a lot about how, how fast this thing went. Um, can you tell me how they stopped this thing? They didn't have disc brakes back then, did they? No, the speedometer in this car goes to 140. I don't know if it, it goes that fast. I mean, usually the test engineers would test the cars to well over 100 miles an hour to just pretty much certify that the car, you know, went that fast. Um, the uh, the brake system on this car is hydraulic, four wheel shoes. They're shoe brakes, and they're they're quite large because you're you're stopping quite a heavy car. So again, it's. You know, if you're used to driving a newer car that has disc brakes, pretty much you touch the, touch the disc brakes, the car stops automatically. With the shoes, you have to ease in to your braking, so you just have to get used to stopping, in some cases, um, well well before you really, you know, you really have to stop. But it works really well for the weight of the car. It's very, very good design. Folks, thanks again for joining me here in Simsbury, Connecticut, at this great antique plane and car show, and for examining this beautiful 1956 Continental. It's just a jam. Just to let you know, I'm planning on heading right back into the studio to lay down some new tracks. If you check out that link below, it can tell you how you can help me make that happen. Basically, anything you can do to help would be certainly appreciated. Until then, catch you real soon. Ciao.